Melody Vassal's Top 100 Games of All Time. Melody Vassal's Top 100 Games of All Time. Woohoo! <laughs> You'll have to forgive us if we look a little tired. We just got back from building a box maze. Every year we try to build the world's largest box maze. I don't think we're gonna succeed this year, do you? Because it's not as large as last year's. But still, me and Melody, box maze builders of the world, unite. Okay, but you're here not to hear about us building a box maze. You're here to hear us. You're here to hear us talk about board games. And we're in the top 20. So these are games that you think are like really awesome. I mean, tremendously awesome. Yeah. Or are they awesome? No. Who picks this stuff? Hey, one of mine is on your list too, so. Let's go. Number 20. Killer Bunny Thoughts and Odyssey. We actually keep this game in a Magic the Gathering box because it really is kind of like a Magic the Gathering game because you can build any deck you want, you can mix different colors. This is like a customizable card game. It's based on the original Killer Bunnies, uh, but this one here you're using different bunnies to establish cities, to put them in cities, uh, and with the, you know, to get as many points first, and whoever gets the most points, a certain number of points first is the winner. Why do you like it? Um, I really like this game because the bunnies, um, I like the different types of characters, um, the different cities are pretty cool. Um, I love the part how you're trying to play the different resources to build um, your place and people or bunnies. Um, <laughs> I liked how there are different types of resources like energy, animals, um, other stuff. <laughs> That's why I like this game. There you go. Let's move on. Number 19, Libertavia. Melody was, right? This is a game that was also on my top 100 of all time. Uh, Libertalia, which is a game about pirates. And in Libertalia, each person has 30 different characters that they might have during the course of a game. One person randomly picks them. Everyone else takes the same randomly picked characters. And then you play them in different order, in this, whatever order you want, trying to get treasure and to get the most points at the end of the game. Why do you like it? Um, I like Libertalia because of the artwork, the different pirates are really cool. Right. Um, I love how you're trying to get the most treasure um, or points to win, and there's like different ways to get it. Like, um, you play a special card that gets you one every turn. Um, it was just a lot of fun to play with a um, a lot of people, which is more fun to play with more people than less. You think so? Yes. Yeah, this game goes up to, is it five or six players? Oh, six, six. players. Yeah, six players. And it, and it doesn't take a long time to play. Mm -hmm. So you're right, it is fun with a lot of people. Libertalia. Number 18, Dungeon Command. Dungeon Command! Dungeon Command, this is, there's actually three sets out currently, although we haven't, Melody and I haven't played with the third set yet, the Goblins. Uh, now, Dungeon Command is a tactical game. It's kind of like Magic the Gathering mixed with a miniatures game. And when miniatures attack each other, there's no dice. They just hit each other, but then you play a bunch of cards to make them hit more powerfully. Uh, why do you like this game? Um, I like this game um, because the different kind of characters, um, they have really good artwork on it. Um, I like how you move through the dungeon trying to um, either kill the good guys or kill the bad guys. It kind of depends. I usually always play the good guys and win um, because good guys always rule. I, <laughs> <laughs> okay, and also you can use the characters for this in the Legend of Dritz and the Wrath yep. of Shard line. So those are fun games too. All right. Well, I'm not as big of a fan of this as Melody is. I'd rather be rolling dice, but yeah, it does have really it, cool miniatures. It defense. More defense. More defense? Yeah. All right, well, either way, Dungeon Command. 
Number 17, Attack Kick. Two on one, we will win. No! <laughs> we're talking about a tactics, which is like a toy that you could buy. There was three different sets that you get. There were Marvel superheroes, which we don't have many of. There were Transformers, and then there the were Star one. Wars. Star Wars! Disney, bring back this game! It's so great. Now, tactics is good because you had little guys that you could basically, uh, you could cock their triggers and then they would shoot other people, and that was supposed or to shoot there. There we go and then try to knock them over. Or, or you twist their bodies and they go whack. So why do you like a tactics? Um, a tactics, first of all, I love the people. They are just so much fun. Um, second of all, I love how um, you can like team up different ones to try to, like with different abilities, like shooting um, like small ones or large ones that don't shoot us. Who's your favorite ones. character? Really, the dinosaur? Optimus Prime. But anyway. Actually, he's, he's really weak, but he's really hard to knock down at the same time. So. Right, yeah, he's not so useful to use, but he's big. Well, that's the, the, the game itself isn't like top, you know, strategy yeah. type things, but it's just, it's that cool toy factor, and you're actually putting guys around and shooting at each other. And some of them have special abilities and different things will happen. Well, I guess you just proved your point wrong. So anyway, that is a tactics. Die. That was so pathetic. You missed. <laughs> Number 16, Battleship Galaxy. Battleship Galaxies was a game that is it could would have maybe been great. Uh, it was like hero clicks, but in space. You had different ships, and they shot at each other. A little bit of resemblance to Battleship, where if you hit somebody, you roll dice to see where in the like ship they hit. And um, hero clicks. Hero escape. Oh, hero escape. Hero escape. Right. Hero escape and battle and and battle ship. Um, why do you like it? Um, I like this game because it was kind of like hero escape. My used to be number one game. Um, oh shh. You're not supposed to give that away. So, um, also Battleship, which is a fun game, but not my hundred. But I really like this game. How you moved your ships around, trying to avoid attacks, but at the same time attack the others at the same time. Um, the ships were amazing. I just love the different types of ships. It was just so much to, fun to play this game, especially with like the different captains and um, stuff. <laughs> All right, well there we have it. Battleship Galaxies makes me sad because it should have 6,000 expansions and it has zero, which is why we don't have it anymore. Because to me, it would have been a much more enjoyable game if it had, to me, there's not enough variety in the base game, so I'm looking for more and it wasn't there. But Melody still enjoyed it a lot. Number 15, Smash Up. Smash Up. Now, I'm really surprised with Smash Up. I really thought Smash Up would be like Melody's favorite game because it seems like that's all she plays anymore. <laughs> she was constantly playing it all the time with that's kids. Right. Yeah, it is. It, it, it's short and fun, and you like mixing the different things. What's your favorite combo so far? Um, robot and dinosaurs. Robot, dinosaurs. Actually, dinosaurs. I like them too a lot. I... Man, Robot Dinosaurs is a really good combo. One I like a lot. Man, I'm trying to think of a better one now. Well, I, I, I think I like the pirates, the, the, the ninja pirates, which is anathema, but fun. Anyway, in this game, you take two different decks and you mix them together, and then you basically use your deck and fight other people for different areas. And you can play up to four people. Uh, what do you like about this game? Um, I like this game because I like how you can... Like my dad said, change your different types of teams, like robot dinosaurs or ninja wizards. <laughs> um, I really um, like this game because the artwork, I like how they make the different types of people. Um, I also liked how you could attack the different areas and like add up the points and destroy it that way. Um, I like how you could also destroy other people with your cards or somehow add something to that land that like gives you an extra player at that thing or plus one for each of your um, point things on your card. 
Well, there you go. Well, anyway, there's lots of different combinations in the game. And so what, this is one that you like a lot. Obviously, it's yes. pretty high on your list. Uh, you think it'll be on your list next year? Yes. Especially with more expansions coming. Number 14, Alhambra. Alhambra, we have the big box. Yeah, so that has five expansions, although each expansion has four expansions, so there's actually 20 expansions. And if you look, Melanie and I did reviews once where we ranked all the expansions from our favorites from one to 20. Uh, why do you like Alhambra? Um, I love Alhambra because I love, love, love the part how you can just make your city and put walls around it to defend yourself from enemies or just to get that many points. Um, I love how they get the different types of buildings um, with the different colors. Um, I didn't like the part where you had to have the exact money to get another thing or knock it. Um, you mean if you buy something with the exact money, then you get to go again? Yeah, but I, didn't, I also didn't like the part how you didn't get any change back. Well, you can play with an expansion that does give you change. Really? Yeah, I remember was well, was one of the twenty. I can't expect you to remember all of them. There really is a lot of them, but so yeah, this is a good game. I'm, I'm, it was a Spiel des Jahres winner in 2003, and I'm really glad to see that Melody still likes this one a lot. You know, because it is a very basic game, but really has the opportunity to go really far. So that's Ahambra. Number thirteen, Risk Legacy. I did not expect this to be on Melody's list. I really didn't. I mean, Risk Legacy, what's so great about it? Um, I like the Name of the City part the most. Um, the no, fact that you can write a name of your own city yeah. on the board. Now, know, have you got to write your name on the board yet that, uh, that you won a game? I only got to play once anyway. <laughs> and it's still this high on your list after yeah. playing once. It was just so much fun. Well, there you have But I played it a lot, um, and well, I really enjoy it. Pack. Yeah, opening the packs and seeing what happens. And Risk Legacy is risk, but you can write on the board and you can change it. Why? Well, you already said why you like it. You like seeing the new things that happen and writing yeah. on the board and things. And I also like how there's like different people fighting against each other to rule a continent. Yeah, this is definitely a game-changing. So it's it's so unique. It hasn't been copied yet. It's been out for two years now. I think Still I not been copied. Like Princess... Uh, Princess Alopsy or something like that. <laughs> well, we can look at that. Let's see what the cities are named. At least in this household, we name them ones that we can read on the air. Uh, let's see. We got. We can't show you guys because that would be spoilers. Let's see. We have Healy, Soviet, Torchwood, Munera, New Mombasa. That's right, right there. Munera. Munera, yeah. La La Land, Terra Nova, Aidenville, <laughs> Own Healy, Cerebri. And MW3. <laughs> South America has been renamed Dice Tower. North America has been named Vassal States of America. <laughs> Europe has been called Nora Dean. And Australia, well, that's it. So, And there's other cool stuff, but I can't show you because that's spoilers. All right. Well, that's and a I great game. I also love the stickers. Stickers are so much fun. Number 12, Meet Terra. is a, a game from Chile, I believe, uh, and it's a worker placement farming game, which sounds awfully close to Agricola, and it really is in a lot of ways similar to Agricola, but it's simpler, easier, and... More kid-like. <laughs> yeah, it's kid-like, but you know what? I played it with adults, and they enjoyed it, too. Why do you like it so much? Well, the art... The art um, the art is more kid-like, definitely. Yeah, it has that little, you know, that, that uh, anime style almost artwork. I love. Um, I love how you have many different choices in this game. Um, the board is really cool, like some people fighting or people just walking from one place to another. Um, the board was amazing. It was just, when I first saw it, I was like, I know this is going to be on my top 100. Let's just by looking at it. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. Um... I love the dice, except the shoe and spider. I don't know what they have. Well, to do. I think that's their logo. Their their yeah. their logo is a shoe yeah. and a spider, so they have to have a shoe and spider die in the game, even though it doesn't really make any sense. But it's okay. It worked well. I love how you can just put your people out on the board, buy another one, so that you can get more choice. 
um, building your own little farm, which is also a lot of fun because I like building your own things. Yeah, that's true. It, 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 it's very unique and interesting, and you should certainly, it's going to be hard to find because it's an import, but it, it, it's a lot of fun. Mi tierra. Number 11, Dominion. Dominion. Expansion. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, we're talking about Dominion itself. Dominion is a deck building game. I don't need to tell you guys much more than that. Why do you like it? Um, I like Dominion because the many different choices that you have um, are just so much fun to play. And I'm, I know I haven't played with every single card yet. At, I Probably know. not, but if we played with a lot of them. We just played with the new expansion, Dark Ages. Did you like that one? Where there was all that trashing going on? Yeah, but not, I didn't What's like your favorite it. expansion? Mm, I'm not sure. I think it may be this one. Oh, good. Because this is the best expansion. But anyhow, so you like the, all the combinations in the game? Yes, and I, and I also know what my favorite card is, too. What is that? Black Market. Really? Yes, because I like how you can get like a special card that no one else has. This That's has. right. Yeah, Black Market is probably in my top three cards. I know it's not a game-winning card, but it's nice to have something else that no one else has. I got yeah. that thief. That thief is mine. Where's your thief? <laughs> oh, you can't get one. So yeah. anyway, that is Dominion. And that, ladies and gentlemen, means we can go to bed now. Um, this is... <laughs> you're excited about that or going to bed? Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, you know, we're not even done with the box maze. We're going in tomorrow yeah. and working for eight hours on that thing. <laughs> that should be exciting. It's like a game. No, it's not like a game. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, guess what, though? Here's, here's what is exciting. Next week, top ten. And Woo! we're done. That's Top fantastic. Ten. Top 10 games of all time, according to Melody. Let's look at their top 10 now. That one's good. 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 <laughs> wow. I agree. I, I, I accept all of your top 10 as excellent games. Finally. <laughs> all right. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. And I'm Melody. And we're tired. Melody Vassal's Top 100 Games of All Time.